Today is the 12th. Today is the 12th. This is number 15. We are recording, guys. We are live right now. We are? Okay. Um, That's fun. So... Okay, let, let's all let's all get it together. All righty. Um, so real quick, guys. Today we're going to talk about sim and leaf plots. So we are like our goal on Friday. We are taking our final statistics test. We're finally going to be done with statistics after this week. Okay. So we've 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 talked about how to calculate a lot of stuff. We've done a lot of calculations. We have a lot of vocabulary that goes with all those calculations. Mean, medium, mode, range, LQ, UQ, interquartile range, least, greatest, mean, absolute deviation, box and whisker plots. We've seen a lot of stuff. We're going to wrap up this week with just ways to present information. And we also need to be able to take those presentations and interpret information, which means we need to be able to make it, and then we also need to be able to take it off of that. Okay? So... Today, our goal is a sim and leaf plot. Um, learning target says, Ava, can you make learning target? Right here. Right there. Oh. <laughs> Where? It's right there. Oh, I can create a sim and leaf plot. I can create a sim and leaf plot. Let's, uh, we're going to reword this. I can create and use a sim and leaf plot. So we want to be able to make it, which is our focus on the front, and then on the black you're also going to use it. Alright? So for these, all of them are making a sim and leaf graph. Now, if you'll notice down here at the bottom on number one, what does that say? A key. key. A key. Where else do y'all see, like, keys used when it comes to information? Um, Emily? Where, where else have you seen a key used? Katie? Maps. Maps. What does a map key do? What's the whole purpose in a key on a map? Anyone know? On Taylor? It shows you what certain things are. So, like, if it has little, like, triangles, that usually stands for, like, a mountain. Um, like, on a map, if we're looking at the state map, like, a star usually means that's the state capital. The state capital. All right? But the key is going to tell us absolutely 100% that's what it means on this map. We have a key for these sim and leaf plots. So I want us to look up here. Do y'all see a 3 and a 7 anywhere? Yeah. On number 1? Yeah, do y'all see right here that 37? So this 3 and then separated by the line, the 3 is standing for the 30s and the 7 is standing for my 1s. And when I put 30s and then 7 together, what does it make? 37. 37. So... That's, that's what my key means, okay? So we need to fill that in. So now what we're going to do is we're going to fill the rest of this chart in to where we have like the 30s, so maybe 20s, 40s, 60s, 80s, where we have our 10s placed here. And then we can list out the numbers that are in the 1s. They're going to make our leaves, okay? So the, whole, the real point here is so if I have like a lot of numbers that are all in the 80s, so instead of having to write like 81, 81, 82, 85, 85, 85, 83, I can just write 8 and then 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, and I can just list out those individual numbers. So it's kind of to save some time. All right. So can someone tell me what's my smallest number in this data list? So we still want to do least to greatest. Y'all know I love least to greatest. Emily? 19. 19. So I'm going to start with 19. What number is in the tens place? 1. The 1. So that's going to be my stem. Okay, my leaf is like the seven. It's the number that's in the ones place. Nine. So what number is that going to be, Gabriella? Nine. Nine. Because when I put that together, one and nine, does it make 19? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right, so let's look at the next one. Um, uh, what's my next number going to be? Um, Michaela? 26. 26. So what's my stem going to be here? Two. A two. All right, and then what's my leaf going to be for that? Six. A six. So that is the two and the six takes care of that 26 right there at the beginning. All right, is that the only number that needs a two for the stem? No. No? What else do we have in there? Um, Dina? We have another 26. So I'm just going to do comma. Do I have to write another two? 
we already have the two, guys. I can just put comma and put another six. So now I know that's two, six, which is 26. And then the next one is also two, six, which is 26. If you want, guys, I've seen some people today that are separating these with some lines. That's fine if you want to just make sure everything stays in the right with the right number. Okay, because sometimes my writing can go a little like, whoo, everywhere. Way, yeah, yeah, exactly, everywhere. Yes, Cameron. <laughs> okay, so I got another 26. I'm going to mark that one out. Do I need any other leaves to go with my two? Any other leaves go with my two? Brandon? We have a whole other 26 over here, so I'm going to put another six up there. Okay. All right. Okie dokie. So what... What, what do I need next? Um, got all my leaves. Any other leaves that need 26, that need a 2? Okay, what else, what's the next number going to be, Cameron? 33. So what kind of stem do I need for that? Three. A 3. And then my leaf there is also going to be? A 3. Okay, so I'm going to mark out 33. Any other leaves to go with that 3? Fina? The 7. The 7 from our key. We need that. So 37. All right, any other stem, any other leaves to go with that stem? Any other leaves there? Okay. All right, so um, Kaylee, what, what's going to be our next stem? 48. So what number of that out of the four and the eight, which one of those is the actual stem? The four. Okay, and then my leaf would be the eight. All right, what other leaves do I need to go with that? Emily? We need another eight. We need another eight. Now, guys, be careful because I'm asking you what other leaf. Am I asking for the whole number? Nope. Just asking for the, oh, eight, not nine. Just asking for the eight. Okay, so that takes care of that 48. Okay, what other leaf do I need, Annabelle? Nine. A nine because we also have 49. Excellent job. <coughs> Good job on listening. Okay. So now, guys, if I was given this graph, if I was given this graph and this key, and let's say I needed to find my median, all right? Do y'all notice how these are already in order? So listing them in order would be really easy. What's the 1 and the 9 stand for? 19. So I just go over to the side and write 19. What would be the next number after 19? 26. And it's easy to see how many 26s are there. 3. All right, this is going to be important because on the back side, you're going to need to be able to list them. Okay, so then I look at my 30s. What numbers do I have in the 30s? 33 and? 37. 37. And then what numbers do I have in the 40s? 48. 48. 48. And 49. Okay, so how many numbers is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. How many numbers did we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So do you see how I can create it? Or I can go backwards just by putting each piece together, my stem with each leaf. Do you all see that? All right. Um, number two works out the exact same way. I'm going to leave that one for you to fill in. All right. I do want us to look at number three and number four, though. All right. We're going to look at number three and number four. All right. So let's look at the key first. The key here, that says a 55 and a 9. So what's going to happen? So let's look up at the top. Where do I see a 55 and a 9? Um, Kayla? In the fifth number, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. In the fifth number, which is 559. So what number does 55 and 9 have to make in my key? 559. So this time, my leaf still stands for the ones, doesn't it? But my stem stands for the hundreds and the tens. Okay? So what's going to be my smallest stem? All right, now be careful how you answer. I asked, what is my smallest stem? Not what is my smallest number. What is my smallest stem? Taylor? 54. Do you see anything that starts with something smaller than a 5 and a 4? No, so my smallest stem is 54. That's not a 54. For some reason, my, sometimes my mouth and my hand does not seem to connect. <laughs> so 54. Okay. So 54. 
what is going to be the first leaf that I need to go with my 54? Um, Emily? Four. So we have five. There is a five, four, four. I think there's one actually smaller than that. I just looked, I just saw it when I was going down the line. Is there a smaller number than four that goes with 54? Michaela? Three. Three. See that one right there? So that's actually, we're going to do three. But Emily did find the next one, four. So we have five, four, three, mark it out. Five, four, four, mark it out. Any other um, leaves that need to go with 54? Any other leaves that need to go with 54? Camber? Five, four, seven. All right. Which one of those is my leaf? Um, seven. Seven. Very good. All right. So 547, so we get the seven. So again, based on my key down here, I know that's actually 543, 544, 547. Okay. All right, what's going to be next? What's my next stem? My next stem, Sarah Grace? 55. All right, what leaf do I need to go with 55? Adriana, can you give me a leaf for 55? All right, what's the smallest number next to 55 in this list? Two. Two. So there's 55 and there's a 2 next to it, so I'm going to put a 2. So I've done with that one. All right, Ava, what's the next one? What's going to be after that one? What's another small number to go with 55? 50. We got another one that's 552. Five, so which of these is my leaf? The two, so I'm going to mark it out and put another two. All right, what's another leaf to go with 55, Maya? A nine. All right, are there any other 55s? No, no, no more 550s. So we have 552, 552, 559. All right, what's my next stem going to be? Next stem, Emily? 56. All right, and Michaela, can you tell me a leaf to go with that 56? So we have 565. All right, any other leaves to go with that? Okay. All right, what's my next? What's my last stem actually? Cole? 57. And my leaf, Sarah Grace? Eight. Eight. And are there any other numbers left? All right, could you list these out in order for me numerically? And I, you don't have to, guys, but if we needed to find my median or my mean, listing them out in order would be beneficial to type them in the calculator correctly. All right, to count and make sure we have all of them, guys, I'm going to count the leaves. So look at what happens when I count the leaves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's count up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So do I have all of my leaves? Yeah, because I have all of my numbers. All right. Now, number four. It looks like it's different because what do you notice about these numbers? They have decimals. So working a stem and leaf plot with a decimal is different than with these whole numbers. If it was a whole number, all of my leaves represented the ones. All right. Let's look down here at our key and see if we can figure out how the line works this time. We have an 8 and a 4. So up in my problem, what is an 8 and a 4 going to have to be? Emily? It's going to have to be the 8.4 there. Do you all see that? So this time, guys, I want you to think of that line as holding the place for your decimal. Did they have the decimal written down in the key? No. So am I going to write it in my graph? No. What is it that's holding the place for my decimal? The line. That line separating them. Okay. Raise your hand if you think you can tell me my first stem. What's the first stem that I'm going to need here? Dina? Five. Five. The smallest whole number we see is five. Okay. What's a leaf that's going to go with that five? Um, Emily? Eight. Eight. So that's the five and the eight. All right, what's another leaf that goes with that five? So that remember, that's 5.8. Am I putting the decimal there? No. Just put it in the table. All right, what's another leaf? Um, Maya? We have another eight. Um, any other leaves to go with the five? 
What's my next stem? Ella, what's the next stem after five? What do I need? Six. six. Sarah Grace, give me a leaf. Four. So that gives me 6.4. Another leaf. Another leaf. Um, Adriana, what's another leaf to go with my six? I got one, four. Nine. We have a nine. Is there a smaller one I can put up there? Four again. We can do four again. Very good. So I'm going to do four again. Um, Adriana, is there another one that I need besides the nine? No. So let's just go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and put that nine that you told me the first time, too. Excellent. All right, what's my next stem going to be? My next stem. Cameron. Seven. seven. All right, what's a leaf that needs to go with my seven, Kaylee? Five. All right, that was the smallest one. What's another leaf that needs to go with my seven, uh, Michaela? Six. Six. All right. All right, last stem, my last stem. Annabella. Eight. And a leaf. Emily. Four. Four. All right. And my last leaf, Brandon. Seven. Okay. Again, I can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. Um, I want you to flip it over onto the back with me real quick. All right. You're going to finish the front, filling in the rest of those charts. On the back, it says to complete each activity and answer the questions. So right here for number one, you're just making your stem and leaf. Still make sure you complete the key. Okay, I'm going to move it down, so please make sure we're still paying attention. We're not working right now. We're just talking about it real quick. All right. Down here, what did it already give me? The stem and leaf. So instead of making a stem and leaf, what are you going to want to do? List out your numbers. So let's start it real quick together so that you already have it started out. What's the first number in my stem and leaf plot? Lake, can you tell me? 14, because if I look down here, 1 and a 2 makes 12. So 1 and a 4 makes 14. What's going to be next after the 14, Sarah Grace? 16. All right, and guys, I'm just going to go down and I'm going to list all my numbers. Then can, is, can I find my smallest, largest, mean, median, mode, and range? All right, so I want you to list it out for me, okay? Number eight, it's talking about looking back at exercise one. Guys, that means look back at number one, and you're going to answer the question. All right. On number nine, you can write this in. It's asking you how would you display data in a sim and lead plot. What tells you how to display your data? What tells you how to display your information? What tells you what those numbers represent? Sarah Grace? The key. The key. So what number nine is really asking you to make is a key. Okay, so if you want to write that in as a little friendly reminder, there you go. All right, so I'm going to go cut the lights on so we can see a little bit easier and let us finish working this worksheet.